The liver can be divided into eight liver segments, each representing an independent unit that can therefore be resected without the other segments to be damaged. While this classification is very useful, I think it can be very confusing for many of you. Let's change that. First, take your hand and make a fist with a thumb in the palm. Now, look at your fist and imagine that your fist is the liver and you're looking right at it. We make three lines representing the liver veins and then we draw a line through the pip joints representing the portal vein. These will divide our segments. The thumb will represent the caudal lobe and then we simply count clockwise 2, 3, 4a, 4p, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Let's put this into practice and look at these axial images of the liver. First we need to locate the structures that divide our liver segments. I like to start by locating the liver veins as they go into the IVC. Here we have the left, middle and right hepatic veins. We can then scroll down and locate the portal vein as this structure will divide our liver segments into superior and inferior segments. As we localized all the structures, we can now map out all the liver segments. Let's start with segment 1, the caudal lobe, representing our thumb. This segment is located posteriorly and unlike the other segment, it's the only one that drains directly into the IVC. This is important because the lobe tends to be spared in diseases causing increased venous pressure, like portal hypertension, in cirrhosis or bacchiari. In these cases, not only is it spared, it compensates for the other segments by growing in size. Now we look at segment 2. We are above the portal vein, so this is segment 2. Next we scroll down until we are below the portal vein. This is segment 3. Next we scroll back up and locate segment 4a, which should be to the right of the left hepatic vein. Then we can scroll down and below the portal vein is segment 4b. Now we count clockwise. To the right of the middle hepatic vein is segment 5 and on the right of the right hepatic vein is segment 6. Now we move above the portal vein and to the right of the right hepatic vein is segment 7 and then finally to the left of the right hepatic vein is segment 8. I hope this clears up some confusion and you will feel more confident next time someone talks about specific liver segments. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Take care.